Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays of the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, well, last time a boss went down by McKinnon, Sharkwalker, Lexus, and Frank, we took on the Brigand Dwell founder, and it really did not stand a chance. Which tells me that it's time for another level zero mission. So, we're gonna go... Eh, we'll go to the cove, why not? Try to get a Footman's War Pick. This is kind of neat. Armor piercing for the Blackguard. And we're going to take a level 0 team of Picot, the Wanderer. With Infinity Edge, Lightsaber, Soul Calibur, and Salamander. He does a lot, a lot of damage for level 0, but he also has no... He has very little health. And I don't think we have any heals on this team, so... Uh, obviously, I'm not going to invest that much in this team. As long as we get one person out, we can take all our trinkets with us, you know? Shadow Crossing Heaven can be used from the back. 25% chance to crit by default. Wow. Extra damage and armor piercing against marked targets. On monster kill, he heal HP. So he can heal himself, apparently. And it ignores slapback. Six demon banishment. He's using the front. Armor piercing. Knockback. 15% extra damage against yokai. And also heal HP on kill. Pet, that should be really strong. Pedals in the wind moves him back. We probably won't be using this, but it does mark a target, apparently. Makes it so they receive more crits. In fact, considering he has very little he can do from any position other than the front or the back, if he gets moved back, he'll probably just use this until he's all the way at the back and then use Shadow Crossing Heaven. He also receives more damage as he uses this, but he does get a lot of dodge and crit. And then 10,000 thousand fold stance. <laughs> Great name. Uh, two speed, 10 accuracy, slap back, and huge crit chance. So the Wanderer, in theory, is all about crits. The Salamander, Postel in the second position. She's gifted. She's a gambler. She has a unique charm, legendary bracer, Fenrir, and ancestor's musket ball because all of her attacks are ranged. She's got flame gout. Shoots a fire. Salamander's breath hits the three first enemies for some decent damage. Has a chance to hurt herself. And uh, she receives more damage if we overuse it. Steam vent, which apparently I'm guessing is the opposite, does a tiny amount of damage. Um, lowers enemy accuracy and less damage from Salamander's Breath. All right, then. I wonder if they can stack enough to use it as much as you need to. And then Grappling Claw. Use from the back, pulls her to the front. Easy, easy. Jolin the Musketeer in the third position, who does not have her patch up. That's why I said we have no heals. Bladed Crossbow, because she does have marks. You call a shot and then aim at it. Pounder's Wheel for speed and dodge. Deathbringer for a little bit of extra damage. And then Siren's Lure to pull enemies forward. Should be fun on a bun. We also have sidearm if we need it. And then finally, Jobert, the Falcon Air, with quick shot, crippling shot, volley fire flurry, spirit of cry stalk, and adapt. Like Soul Keek, so she can adapt and, you know, get two moves. The Blessed Coat for stress heal, since we do have Kakaw. And then the Glass Harp of Summoning and the Stone Ring of Summoning, you know, for a chance to summon some spiders. Let's go. And try to have a good time. Someone brought us some extra food. Well, thank you. We're probably going to need it. Bring a stack of torches. We have the salamander, so we only need, should need one. Actually, I should totally give the salamander to the salamander. But uh, I didn't. And she already has a bunch of really good items, so I'm not going to switch it around. Sorry. Give me a key. Give me shoves. Give me... Give me some herbs. And then bandages. And let's -a go. Into the cove, where tentacled lurkers lie in wait just below the water surface. Therefore, we should tread carefully. Do not, do not, try and do not get in trouble. Do not get caught by the crab. By the crab, okay. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. It's 100% of room battles, and that is not going to change. Glittering gold. Depending on what direction we go in. Baubles. Paid for in blood. Oh, nice dodge to start us off. Thank you, Jolin. All right, then. A beautiful start, indeed. Not, nah, not even a scout, huh? That stinks. Wooden arm is pretty darn neat. All right, what'd you find for us, Postel? Stuff. Well done. It's exactly what I wanted. Can I get a battle up in here? 
There we go. Skullugs and pirates. Yo, the, the fighting stance for the Wanderer. It's so different from a regular stance. I love it. Uh, let's... Let's burninate the ghostly pirate first. Nicely done. Alright, that lasts for two rounds, so it doesn't stack that much. I mean, this is should be a guaranteed kill. Executed with impunity. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, healing and stress relieving. Fantastic. Continue the onslaught. Nice shot. Destroy them all. Chance of the kill is practically zero, so you know what? We're gonna kaka. Little bit of stress relief. And then it's their turn. I honestly expected you to use Black Flag. Dude, the dodging animation's sick. I love it. Right, bleed resist no matter what. Because video games. And of course it lasts for a certain number of battles. Which is great! I was hoping for a spider, but what are you gonna do? Another one. Alright! That's fine! Minus 200% crit for three rounds. Okay. I understand what you're doing here, and it makes sense. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I also appreciate the burner nation. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Remember, guys. Hey, your bloodsucker's gone. Remember, guys, overconfidence is something, something we win every time. Let's go win this bread. Oh, jeez. I almost, almost clicked on starve. Probably not the right strategy. Poor I had to guess. But we got plenty of food. What we don't have... Oh yeah, we do. It's a medium mission. For some reason, I thought this was a short mission. I, I'm, I'm wrong. You couldn't tell. It's medium. That's okay. That's okay. Just because I can't read the things that I click on. It's fine. I'm not the only person who's ever done that. Ah, nice dodge. Yo! What else can we get rid of? Flawed release? Minus crit on range skills. You have one range skill that does no damage. You have another one on answer to perfection, which moves you forward, bypasses stealth, de-stealth, so mobilizes the target. Holy crap. Six demon banishment gains extra damage? What? You also have the forbidden technique. The free action. Minus 10 HP? Gain stress for three rounds guarantees a crit with 30%. Oh my lord. He doesn't need flawed release, so. We'll only gamble. That one's probably worth getting rid of. This one's even more worth. Uh, I mean, extra trap disarm chance is good, but trap disarm chance 25, 20, 35, 40. Yeah, freaking. You don't need trap disarm chance, Jolin. At least not on this team. Okay, so don't you even worry about it. A fortune waiting to be spent. It's a pretty good chunk of stuff in that fish. Please. My kingdom for a scout. Just one. Can I get a crumb of look ahead? Oh, boy. Well, one thing we know for sure is that one by one, this team will go down. As we attack the front line and do some good damage. That might be all we know. But we definitely know it. Okay, we've called the shot. And now... The true test. Slap him. He's a good slap. He's not a 10 out of 10 slap, but he's a good slap. Slash me, I dare you. You coward. Probably shouldn't have dared him. Oh! Damn! Precision engineering indeed. Ouch! Oh boy. 20, 20 extra dodge below 40 HP. Interesting. You left him with one health. I'm actually mad. Oh, son of a bitch. This is dangerous. Their formation is broken. Alright, that move forward was actually very useful. Oh no. You're not gonna get anything from killing the corpse, I assume. So you know what? Let's go for it. Doesn't give us any... That lasts for the battle? Damn! Alright. That's cool. Okay, here's the thing. I want to kill you. A singular 
first strike. If possible. Or get rid of the corpse, one or the other. Spear fishing, all right, all right. Good stuff. Uh, time for some breath. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, a little bit of damage. Oh well. That's fine. Should not have done that. Now that I think about it, for like two seconds. Okay, we're fine. Ouch. Ouchies. Hmm. Let's get a little bit of extra healing. Just squeeze it on out of there. Oh, you know what? Switch back. Ah, <laughs> uh, cacaw. I'd love to get rid of that corpse, but we can't do it. In radiance, may we find victory. Ooh, that did give him a little bit. Ooh. So that does heal even if he kills a corpse? Okay. That's nice. Nice quick shot. What a simple sidearm. Eh? Eh? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That's right, I made a Rimworld mod reference. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, maybe. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Actually, considering how much health that gives per tick, that's that's huge. Finally! Oh god. Dang it. Okay. Uh eat up. Of course. Okay. Potential trouble here, needless to say. A good hit, not a kill, unfortunately. That'll kill it, though. Beautiful. Does that get rid of corpses? Or is that... Oh, no, it's a spider. The spider doesn't leave corpses. Yeah, Picot's doing a lot of damage to herself, though, and that's... That's... That's no buenas. Shocker. Ah, God! Oh, no. I'm not surprised that worked. Hey, we got a friendly glass spiderling. Maybe they'll they'll chitter and hurt each other. Grievous injury, palpable fear. I hate it. Oh, uh, you know what the worst part is? Our wanderer can only hit the front, which sucks. Good damage. Oh. The way that effect worked was weird, right? But I can apply the, the, the... That was weird. That seems weird. I think that was weird. Anyway. Go ahead and give him a little bit of flurry. Well, the, wait, did we get a second one? We got a stony boy. Hey, neat. I mean, I don't want to banish stony boy. I just summoned them. So... Flowers! The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Right, he does receive extra damage for a while, which sucks, but... Have some steam. Four ra Ooh, you can make it so you're guaranteed to not take damage. Gotcha. Good to know. Slapback is not consumed afterwards. And here I falsely thought we didn't have a healer. We have two charmed spiders on our side, dude. A powerful blow. Nicely done. Ooh. Got healing and stress relief from that and everything. And then, of course, you're going to do your thing. Cool. Oh, no! The glass! Nice dodge. Ah! I mean, it's weak, but still. Ah! Right, now all we can do is this over and over again. I mean, he does build up dodge every time he does it. And crit chance, so... It's gonna look cool. Probably. Ooh. Ooh! Look at all them effects. Like, oh crap! We've been hit with extra protection and resist chances. Kaka. Actually, I should have had Jubair move in front of our Wanderer. So that he could have moved forward and done a, an amazing hit. Should have done that. Oh! Oh no, she could only grapple and claw the back row? I didn't notice that before. 
Ugh, I gotta switch that out. Pile bunker. Mm, sweep kick. There you go. It's a slow move forward. With a chance to bleed. And shuffle. Lacerate's also available. But if you get moved all the way to the back like she just did, it's not that useful. Okay. Good to know. We gotta correct ourselves, right? Hey! Why'd you do that? What the heck, dude? I didn't ask for this. Alright, apparently hitting the charm spiderling just heals us. Which is good to know. Because we're getting a lot of healing out of this. Dodge it. Yeah, there you go, Pastel. Well done. Alright, hit him with a weak move. Yeah, that's a good heal. More crystals, thank you. That was a little word for Picot, but now I don't have to be. Bye. Thanks for showing up. You were a fun dude. All right. Let's see it. To perform beyond one's limits. Ooh, that's a nice crit. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Oh boy. You lost a lot of health. And you can't attack anything but the... You know, you can't attack the front row, so... You might as well cacaw again. Hmm, them fascinating cacaws. All right, pick up. Time for your shadow cross in heaven. A hundred percent crit chance. Eradicated. Damn. Damn them. Damn them. Damn. That is a fun class. This expedition at least promises success. Oh, this guy's nuts, and I'm loving him. All right. There's no more room battles up this way. I'm happy to get the food. Let's go ahead and turn him around. Mm. Nah, let's head forward. Not for the... Not for the curio, but for the... Disarm chance. Well. Ancient frick me! Lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Just call me Mr. Frick! I done goofed it. That sucked. Alright. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Six, five, four. I mean, I could go down this hallway to prevent... To make that disappear before the fight. But I don't... I don't think it's that consequential. It's just for one turn. Zerkers and sisters. Alright, let's do it. Oh god, they're leaping right in! Reminder of the speed stat. The speed stat means nothing. It's a quick reminder of that. Alright. Boom! Decimated. That was easy. Probably should go for the slap back immediately. That's just... What the heck? Such a good way to start off a fight with that. Hmm. Didn't get the mark we were looking for, but that's okay. Steam them. Get them all pruny. Then they'll die better. Yeah, you can't see past their steam, can you? You know what, Frigate? Kill them. They're practically dead anyway. You guys keep lining up, we'll keep knocking down. These two make a great team, I think. Musketeer's pretty good here, too. Although... As I, victories mount, so too will resistance. I think either the musketeer... These two I love as a team. These two are doing some fun things up here. Lower in accuracy. Which helps we, we have such a squishy guy. I think I have eyeglass already. Uh, up front. I think they need a strong healer. And maybe a stunner. For a task well performed. Like, a position 3 or 4 stun person could be an amazing addition to this team. Alright. Come on, groupers. You can summon, so I want to get you out of here as soon as possible. Ouch. That hurt quite a bit. Oh, so close. 
All right, Postel, I think, uh, yeah, let's have you just turn him and burn him. No! Stop gathering on my salamander, please! That was not enough damage. The light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Actually, that is enough damage to save her. Save her one attack. That one. But we can't do anything about the group. This one. Except kill him. <laughs> that works. We can kill him. That seemed quite helpful. Okay. That devastating blow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Woo! Thankfully, food is doing some good work for us here today. Alright, one or two more room battles. That's the question. A nice surprise. I like this. Let's see if we can knock him out first. Good stuff. Risk some damage there, but I think it's going to be worth it. Get ready to rock. Nicely done, Jubert! That's what we needed. Alright. Bonicle Barrier. He's weakly chumping. Barrier that! Hell yeah! Okay. Mark this guy. All oh, right, we can't take advantage of Mark's. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> she claimed the mark. Well done. And then let's go ahead and steam him up. Bye bye, Pranaman. Who ordered some steamed fish? The way is lit. The path is clear. Absolutely beautiful. We require only the strength to follow it. Any secret room? Give me a double scout. Okay. So we know there's no secret room. We also have two keys, so I guess that doesn't matter that much. Alright. I mean, I really like this for the apostate. I really like this trinket for the apostate. So, you know... What we're gonna have to do... We're gonna have to dump something for it. I guess I'll dump the... Bandages. Okay, two battles left. Let's frickin' go. Dude, at low levels, these minor shards are so good. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Hi. Otherworldly corruption. Well, I wish your order was the opposite of what it is right now. Annihilated. But I also like that. <laughs> Woo, baby. Mm. Damn. It's really hoping for a kill a shot. The ground quakes. All right, that's good too. Can you kill it? Yes, you can. Back to the pit. I mean, obviously you can. It's an armor-piercing attack. Damn it! I'm really hoping you go after anyone but Pastel, but that worked. Worked out. Nice sidearm shot, and burn him. Beautiful. Ah, we got a shell. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Hmm. 25 protection, but minus dodge and every hit causes loss of more dodge. Or uh, protection, not dodge. That's a little weird. I'm dropping the torches. I don't need them anymore, but uh, I don't think that's that good. Of course, this is the last battle. Of fucking course, this is the final fight. God damn it. Okay. Lower the dodge back here. I mean up here. Steam them. Lower their accuracy. Frick. <laughs> uh, this will not lower anything. Hmm. But if we switch over, we could lower their... Try again to lower their accuracy. Or we could just shoot. Mm. Ooh, actually, you know what I noticed? Look who's in the third position, the castaway. Can he do anything from there? Maybe. But maybe not. Alright, well, we didn't lower accuracy nearly as much as I was hoping we would. 
God, only a 66% chance. You know what? Let's do this. Of course, you're going for the stuns. Mm. Okay. Got one still available. Emboldening vapors on a plague dot. Okay. Mm, going for the block. All right. We can work against that. We actually avoided way more damage than I thought we would ever be able to there. Oh, come on with the dodge. Friggin' hell. God damn it with the dodge. Damn it! Dude. I'm gonna keep beating this drum. These guys are too strong. I wanna get rid of that block. These guys are too strong for what level they're at. But for apprentice missions. But okay. Yeah, that's, that's gonna happen. Are you... Do you have the refactored skills? Huh. Or did Intimidate get changed and I forgot about it? I honestly don't know anymore. Alright. Well, this is... This is some big damage up front. I'd love to see these two just go at it. Wanderer versus Leper. Oh, and we might get to! Holy crap! Ooh, that might not be as bad as it seems! Yeah, that might not be as bad as it looks. Fuck. God! Dang it! Darkest Dungeon, please. Yeah, Postel's dead. Probably. And now the true test. I mean, statistically, she's gonna die in this fight. Wait, that does restoration and he. What? Fucking what? What the fuck? Get rid of the healer. What the actual frick? Oh my god. Let's go after the one with the higher accuracy. Oh, I should have used minor shard. That was my mistake. Well, now if she dies, it's my fault. <laughs> well, no, well, it depends on if she gets another turn. If she does get another turn, then if she dies, it's my fault. If she doesn't get another turn, then it's still my fault somehow, I'm sure, because video games, but actually, that might have saved her. Might have gotten the Wanderer killed. From becoming unwound. But they both just moved. Yeah, of course you left her with one health. Of course you did. God damn it, of course you did. Nice! Well done, Jolin. Uh, I can bounce around a lot. Bye! I'm tempted to lower his... You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna lower his accuracy. Never mind. I'm a, he has 110... Oh, damn it. He has an item for that or something, doesn't he? Or no, he was given a buff. I genuinely do not remember. Uh... Hmm... How long are we out of crits? You know what? I'm gonna go for it. He's up in his own dodge. If he can make himself survive another turn, we might be safe. The Jubair can't do anything. Unfortunately, she is like not able to help. Other than Kaka. Alright, well, this is what you get when you don't take healers, you know. Oh, and you can only move back. Hmm. That sucks. That sucks a bit. None of those are that useful. So we're just gonna shoot. Maybe he'll go into Solemnity. Nope, he's going to kill... Uh, ooh, she survived. Slightly surprising. I wish you had the Arsonist burn effect. God, do I wish you had the Arsonist burn effect. 
Okay, we're not gonna debuff him. It's literally not possible. So you know what? Let's just move to the back. And I just realized... Oh no, I just realized... If he actually does kill a salamander, then our wanderer can't do anything. And he's gonna try. And he's gonna not get it yet. Woo! We got lucky. So far. So far. If the wanderer gets the kill... Master or if the musketeer gets the kill... Nicely done. We got really... No reward for that fight. Brought low and driven into the mud. No reward for that fight. What the hell is this game, man? Or that mod, I should say. How the hell was that fight not warranting a reward? Anyway, our Salamander has all of her skills unlocked. Like, overclock. Crit, speed, and dodge. Can't be skills, of course. Hmm, extra damage for Flame Gout. Salamander's Breath. Oh, but you also receive more damage from Salamander's Breath. Gotcha. Surgical Addi Addiction. Suffer HP damage, lower stress, up damage and accuracy, but also stress everyone else. Blaze of Glory. Torch burn slower. Cool. Damage reflection if the torch is high. That's neat. Uh, I just want to look at our skills to see if we have anything for preventing nighttime ambush. We do. Heightened senses will do it. If we don't get hit by... Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think it's worth it because of that. Wow, minus 40% of party surprise. Sheath the blade. Lowers his own stress. Ups virtue chance. Plus 50% stress heal. Stress... Stress healing skills, but also minus a lot of HP. Hmm. Draw the blade. Opposite. 20 stress. Yikums. And then the five attitudes. Extra damage and dodge versus marked targets. Extra speed while marked. Extra healing received while marked. Less stress healing received while marked. Interesting. Anyway, we're, let's get the hell out of here. At last, wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. Should just consider ourselves damn lucky that nobody died in that fight. Then I do. Tracked, of course. Pet patrol adversary, nice. Thick scarring, okay. Treatable. Extra healing received while bleeding. Alright. Cool. He can be treated. I was lord of this place. Oh, it's that time again. Before the crows and rats made it their domain. Apparently there's been another breach in reality. So, we gotta have to deal with that. But that'll be next time. This time we left some fishmen dead. And honestly, our stress coming out of that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Two blocks is the most we got. University textbook for the air. Extra resolve XP, debuff skill chance. I don't like those. I mean, debuff skill chance is always nice. Level one Jesta. He's loud. I mean, I don't... Yeah. Easy target. Cardone. A blessed bloodline pit fighter. He's also a risk taker and he's impotent. Let's see, Headman, Queasy. Eh, nothing I can't live without. Antsy is terrible. Unless you want to go for virtue runs, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that is going to be for this episode of That Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Love the Wanderer, love the Salamander. Cool team needs some healing. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like. Yeah, I want to know you subscribe for more because it'll keep coming. It won't stop coming because it's the Darkest Dungeon. That's what it do. Thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. My dude. S dudes. Plural. There are presumably more than one dude out there watching this. I hope.